Viewer discretion is advised. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Train Simulator 2020. My name is Yo Adrian and today I'm going to be showing off the CP AC4400 locomotive made by Searchlight Simulations. Now I went ahead, broke down and bought it. Um, and let me give you a little backstory to this. I was really hesitant on purchasing this back whenever it first came out. And that's only because I did not want to pay, you know, $35 for one locomotive and I was expecting the same exact thing out of all the Railworks locomotives so that is why I was really hesitant on purchasing it and then I started watching videos on it and stuff like that and I'm like wait this is a lot better than what I expected it to be so here we are with the new searchlight simulations well not new but new to me basically so I know I'm like super late on a showcase video and all that fun stuff so I do apologize for that but better late than never I always say so this is going to be one of the new locomotives added to our uh, Train Simulator 2020 roster, basically. So I'm very excited for that. But yeah, if you're like me and you kind of were really hesitant on it, you're like, I don't want to pay that much money for just one locomotive. Let me be here to tell you that it is actually worth every single penny that you put that you purchase it for. It is a lot different than a normal Railworks locomotive. I will definitely tell you that. So much more detailed, more operational. And there's a lot more stuff that you can do with this locomotive than you can with the default Railworks one. So let's go ahead and just do a little outside tour of it. Um, like I said, it is a Canadian Pacific locomotive. So this locomotive is literally based up to Canadian Pacific specs. So we got the low number boards and all that fun stuff. Um, this locomotive is one of the most accurate 3D models in any train simulator game as well as the most detailed North American locomotive to date and it's probably will get as realistic to real life operations of a locomotive that we will see in this game as well as I was reading that it took them five years to research and develop this locomotive mod for like to every single bolt going through all the manuals and shit like that we also have a fully modeled operating cab openable openable doors and windows as well as external animation such as brake cylinders, brake shoes, and an air-powered bell. A dynamic audio for the engine horn and bell. Sounds GE exhaust effects and fading lights. As well as full night lighting as well as rail driver support which is nice. It didn't have rail driver support before but now it does. So let's go ahead and do a little uh, exterior tour of the locomotive here. Um, we're currently in a free roam scenario so that's why the camera view is a little bit weird. But yeah it is... Uh, the texture and the complete locomotive is built to CP or Canadian Pacific specs. So if you guys see something that's like, well that's different than what UP has, that is because it's built to whatever Canadian Pacific had. It's a very nice locomotive. I remember seeing these all the damn time when I went to my grandpa's house because he lived by the Canadian Pacific uh, Elgin sub, I believe it's called. the Basically the metro route that runs to Elgin, he lived across there. Or like parallel to the line in Elmwood Park. So I would see these all the damn time. So. But yeah. Just look at the detail on these locomotives guys. Especially down over here. Just look at all that detail. You got the builder's manuals and stuff like that too. Um, Which I don't think it actually corresponds with the number you have. I think that all stays the same. But just looks super super phenomenal. And you can also you know. Just tell how much work has been put into this locomotive. Especially with five years of you know uh blah, blah, research and building and stuff like that so you guys can see here we're going to be hopping into the cab here and the engine does actually have to like start up and everything to get all your features and stuff in so you'll have to give it like a minute like a little bit less than a minute to uh, start up and everything but here is the cab guys it is a fully functional cab very nice very very nice do a lot of stuff with it um very detailed as well one of my favorite things up here is the in memory of those who lost their lives meaning like rail crew or like probably people hit by train and stuff like that so very 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 operational we have like uh, uh there's nothing down here but i thought it was going to be like one of those like the amtrak p42s had where it's like the bell crossing bell thing but we don't actually have that so here's a look at your main camera view uh, it's going to be your engineer side and we come back over here 
and we can actually come back to the control panel here and I'll get to this here in a second after I finish showing off the locomotive we can open the door back here your next view will come back here and same thing after we show off the control panel back there I'll be showing this off and see what's going on back here and then we have a middle view here which we can actually open the doors on the bottom here which is awesome it's got actual realistic sounds too Oh, wrong way so we come down here we can actually look out here especially if you're going for like a uh, whatchamacallit like a crew change or if you're trying to do like switching moves and stuff like that which is nice come back up here to you like your top of the steps basically look around look at that looks very nice uh, we got some like stuff written over here as well about the air conditioning and the heating we got your uh, little maintenance logs over here important engine information and stuff like that we got stuff up here as well all that fun stuff let's go ahead and do the next camera view which is your conductor side and then we back to the engineer side so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna show you guys how to actually start up this locomotive currently it is on so I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down and then I'll show you guys how to actually start it back up alright so here we are the engine is currently shut down and one of the ways you can actually tell is by listening to the sounds as well as on the computer here it'll tell you that the engine is shut down so it will exactly tell you that the engine shut down which is nice so how to start this bad boy up well first of all put the reverser handle into the reverser slot second second of all you come down here you're gonna go and turn on the engine run pump as well as the control circuit breaker then we'll come back over here and uh, the second thing is you're gonna want to turn all of these on but I ended up keeping these on just because but usually these will possibly be off depending on your scenario you're putting it in or whatever but all these right here these circuits should be going um, on I left them on so we'll come down here and we'll turn this to isolate let it do its thing and then we'll change it back to run and then we'll come out here and what's kinda cool is that we can actually open this right here it's just this one but as you come here as you see here you want to move start switch to the prime position and hold until fuel fills the sight glass and there are no bubbles and then move the start switch to the start position and hold until the engine starts so there will be a five to eight second delay after moving the switch to start before the engine will rotate so let's go ahead and move it to the fuel prime there we go we don't actually have to hold it to start it it'll just do it on its own so you'll wait till you hear it and then let's go ahead and do engine start alright so the engine is now starting up we can go ahead and shut this close you close you and then right here is your fuel thing I believe is right here I believe I'm not a hundred percent positive positive. and then we come back to the engineer seat here and then as you see there it says auto engine start stop in process so you're just gonna wanna wait for that to say ISO or uh, not ready yet isolated so once it's an isolated you set your engine control to run which will change that to ready and then we come back to the engineer side come down here turn on the generator field circuit breaker and you are good to go so let's go ahead and hop outside and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite things about the uh, locomotive but this locomotive is also equipped with an automatic snow rail cleaning device as well you can actually turn that off flying debris may cause personal injury blah blah blah, blah. so let's go ahead and hop outside and I'm gonna show you guys my favorite part of this locomotive or one of my favorite parts I should say so let's go ahead and turn on the headlights here look at that it actually has realistic illumination patterns to the headlights which is really nice and it looks realistic as well you can dim it from your uh, exterior using your keyboard or um, controller whatever you got very nice we can also also turn on the ditch lights here which if we do operation with ditch lights and turn them on the ditch lights will turn on when your headlights are at bright and then they'll shut off again once you're back to medium which is fantastic so one of the other cool things about this locomotive is that it also shows you that which headlights are on and then if we turn the rear headlight on which we do have a rear headlight that will turn on as well so let's go ahead and check that out real quick so if you guys do want to do long hook forward operations there is a rear headlight as well 
we'll set that to off another cool thing is we can actually do this so let's do tone we can do zero or tone one and then we do uh, channel 7272 which is a C in Chicago subdivision and you can put up the volume all that fun stuff very 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 cool so let's go ahead and get this uh, locomotive running up here like I said this is probably one of the most realistic locomotives you'll actually get in train sim here and I know I'm probably not even listing everything you can do on this locomotive but it is super cool let's go ahead and pop open those windows nice 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 put down them sunshades and what's kinda nice is that it's actually the sunshades are um, on their own so it's not like in railworks where you put one down they all go down no you can actually pull one down leave one up whichever you want to do we got a cab light here that you can actually dim and brighten as much as you want and stuff like that so let's go ahead and come to the middle here uh, if I can actually see it from here yeah here we go so the brotherhoods relief and compensation fund for the CP or for like the railroading and stuff like that Heated windows, all that fun stuff is over here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and shut this door right now. We don't need it. Because we're done here. And then I'll also show you guys how to shut off the locomotive. We'll go and shut that. Very nice. Let's go ahead and hop in the outside view. And I'm going to show you guys the sound of the horn and the bell. Very, very, very realistic sounding horn and bell. Let's go ahead and try to do it from inside the interior here. It's not as loud. And what's kind of cool is that it actually shows you that it's on on this screen over here. Which is nice. So let's go ahead and start up this locomotive. Set you in the forward. Release you. What's kind of cool is it actually tells you on here as well. So it's released. Let's go ahead and move the reverser into two or into notch three. Or notch two, I guess I should say. And here we go. Locomotive is now moving. Very, very cool. I'd also tell you about the sander. Let you know the sand's on on both locomotives as well. is nice so let's go ahead and just run it down run it run it run it all right let's go ahead and start stopping this locomotive using the independent brake here currently at 19 miles an hour I'm not sure what it means when the brake cylinder is flashing unless that just means that it's ready in case we need it. Um, EOT emergency status, I'm not sure how to turn on. Uh, none of the stuff here actually works. You can click on it, but it's not gonna work, so you can't actually change like the menus or anything, even though it shows that you can. Um, but you can also brighten it, dim it, whatever you wanna do, which I think is awesome. You can dim it and all that fun stuff, which is really cool. So we'll just go ahead and just start slowing this train down, put some minimal reduction into this bitch. And then we'll go ahead and just reverse it back to the station here after we stop it. So it looks like we got FR no com, which is not something we need to worry about, honestly. And then here we go from an emergency application. We'll just set it down to emergency. You want to recover, move your handle to emergency. So once your train stops here, I'll show you guys how to open up your PCS again. So the handle is in emergency. You want to make sure your throttle and all that is probably in not uh, just uh, idle. And then your reverser can stay in forward, it doesn't matter. But as you guys see here, the PCS is open, so you want to close it. It'll say keep handle in emergency for 60 seconds, and it'll just keep going down every 10 seconds. So you saw there, 50. Once it gets back down to zero, 
basically all you want to do is just release your brake and then I'll show you guys that here in a few once it gets back once it gets down to zero I'll show you guys that here in a little bit alright so here we are at the 10 second mark got 10 seconds left to keep the handle in emergency for and this like I said will reset your PCS so to recover move handle to release released you'll hear beeping you'll hear three beeps and that means now your brake is going back up to where it's supposed to be so let's go ahead and move you into reverse release that independent brake and let's go ahead and back it on up to the station where we got it from you can also open this window here of course now uh, you got different windshield wipers one for the front one for the rear but you actually have to turn yourself which is nice and it's actually got like realistic windshield wiper animations which is awesome start slowing that bad boy down a little bit <laughs> There we go. And then there's also a rear windshield wiper, which is for back here. Which is cool. So it's all it's not the same switch, which is nice. And then of course, same thing on this side. As well, you got two different cab lights, one for the back, one for the seat there, and stuff like that. This door doesn't open, so we don't have to worry anything there. Release the brake, not gonna bail it off just yet brake cylinder is at 45 we're just gonna back up back to the platform where we were at basically move the uh, independent brake back down and yeah so basically that's kind of like a main part of the locomotive here um, hope you guys enjoyed the showcase video for it I'm still going to be showing you guys how to shut this down and a little bit more of the control panel back there and stuff like that, so I'm just letting you guys know that. Once we get on the platform here, I'll go ahead and show you guys that and shut her down and all that fun stuff. Alright, so I think our locomotive's getting there. So we'll go ahead and just set the independent brake to full. Yep. I'm gonna line right there with the platform. Boom, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and shut the belt off. Move the reverser to neutral. Move you to release. Set you to uh, full service. So, how to shut down the locomotive? Well, you're gonna come over here. You're going to turn the generator field circuit breaker off, control circuit breaker, and then the uh, engine run circuit breaker to off. And what's also down here is you have different lights, window heater, all that fun stuff, as well as your heater switch right here. And then you're going to come back here. You're going to turn this down back to start, which will turn that isolated. And then you're going to push this button your engine stop push button so it'll stop the engine another thing here and you just got to keep an eye on this but you also got your like light switches here for your cutouts and everything for your different traction motors and stuff like that which is cool pretty cool I don't remember if I show this off or not but speed sensor um, locked axle and dynamic brake cutout and then of course your motors and all that stuff so the engine is now shutting down so it'll show on here that it's down once it's completely shut down and if your messages say anything else it'll let you know what it, what it means on here so the engine is not completely shut down yet so once it says engine not running that means your engine is shut down so the engine is now currently shut down and it should let you know on here as well so yes it does engine shut down um, but yeah basically that is the um, AC44 CW AC4400 locomotive. Forward headlight is off. Ditch light set that back to off. So yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, make sure you hit the like button as well as that subscribe button with the bell icon. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more of this locomotive. If you guys want me to do more of uh, searchlight simulations locomotives as well, let me know down in the comment section as well. 
The two screens are actually different, as you guys can see there too, which is nice. One's a little bit like uh, smaller. No, they're actually no, they're the same size, but the uh, one on the left is a little bit bigger with like the uh, pictures and stuff like that. So that's really cool too as well. But yeah, guys, make sure you follow me on all the social medias. Everything, especially with the link to this locomotive, is down in the description below. And I will be showing this off here soon, so don't worry about that. And yeah, guys, that is going to go into it for this one. Take care.